I left my family for your faith. You played your role. I believe it's time to return to your family. The story here is nearly over. Here's my thing, a podcast, movie reviews, and more. Let's get into Servant Season 4, Episode 7, Myth. In this episode, Dorothy discovers a connection with Leanne. Uncle George shares information with the Turners. Episodes open with Leanne and uh, Julian in bed together. However, Julian cannot sleep. He's wide awake. He goes to the window. He looks out. He sees the lesser saint ex-followers, now Leanne's kind of following, just surrounding the cracks outside. And it's a little creepy for him. He hears someone walking in the background. He sees, he goes, he sees Sean. He sees Sean go into the surveillance room. He waits and then he goes in and to see what Sean was doing. He recognizes that Sean is reading a book. He he flips through the book and we see he's looking at the fallen angel section of this book. So this book is about just um, the aftermath, devils, fallen angels, and just all those things. Later on, early morning, Julian wants to talk to Leanne about the strange happening. She just wants to dance and she tells him, you know what, you talk too much. And this is all because he's asking tons of questions, just trying to understand if she's realizing all the weird things that are happening. And she shuts him up. She bites him. Blood's coming from his lips and he's shocked. Dorothy's on her quest to find more information about Leanne after seeing her in that pageant video. She's more want to inquire, um, especially what Bobby told her. And Bobby said, listen, Leanne wants your family. She wants you. It's an obsession. So Dorothy is like, listen, I need to figure this out. So she reaches out to a friend in her productions department. He seems to have access to tapes, seems to have access to release forms and information. And he can't find Leanne's release form from the pageant uh show when the pageant aired years ago but he found instances of leanne and uncle george following dorothy each and every year and the symbol of that is that is leanne's mother's date of death and so every year you can see leanne in the background of uncle george in one of dorothy's films if she's re reporting that day they are there meanwhile down in the basement julian loses his ability to speak as he chats with Sean about the fallen angels and the book in more detail. Sean has a theory about Leanne and they seem spot on. His theory seems spot on. He's thinking that Leanne may have died and come back as something else. And depending on her mood, she lashes out on those around her. And he's just mentioning all the things that's been happening to his family. And it seems spot on. And right when we're like, all right, the Turners finally are seeing what we're seeing as audience members. What's being revealed to us is being revealed to them. In comes in Roscoe. Roscoe pops up. He pops up on them and he introduces Uncle George. Uncle George comes in with a story. He says, I've left the church. He appears neater. He appears more, you know, well, his appearance is just better. He just feels like a different person. Something that we notice is just he seems different. So it's like, all right, there's something going on. Maybe he did leave the church. He goes on to apologize to the Turners. And he says, you know what? I'm sorry, but Leanne is an ordinary girl. And she just likes pulling pranks. She likes staging phenomenon. She doesn't have any real powers. To, to which Sean is like, what? There's no way that she has to have powers. These things kept happening to me. These things kept happening around us. There ha the explanation is that she has some form of like ungodly like out of this world power and uncle george is like no actually she's just an ordinary girl she just has an obsession with dorothy he allowed her to see dorothy year after year to come visit her um just because she's had that obsession and he just wanted to give her the opportunity to get a little bit of what she wanted since she had lost her parents what he seems very convincing very and he convinces julian and sean but Roscoe's standing right outside. He didn't go pretty far and he overhears this and he looks very unhappy. And as soon as Uncle George comes out, he says, listen, I left my family for you and your church and your beliefs. You're telling me you lied to me? And Uncle George says, like, you can go back to your family. He says it in a very weird way. He says, your family can return, which is odd. Like, what does that mean? Like, did the church take his family from him? Does he not have a family to actually return to? But he says, look, I'm done with you. Like, you served your part. And he slams the door 
in Roscoe's face. And that kind of lets the audience know that, hey, Uncle George is up to something. That seems a little bit different than the, the warm demeanor that he was presenting to Julian and Sean. Now he's back to being this cold person. Very evident to the audience that he is definitely the same Uncle George. So we pan to the kitchen and Leanne returns from her walk with Jericho. She seems surprised that everyone's mood is a little bit different than how she left. Julian says he had allergies and seemed to dismiss Leanne when she asked about his voice and like if there was something up with his voice because as you know, he lost his voice the entire day until she returned. Dorothy is happy to host dinner again and that's a little bit odd. So she finds that a little odd. I thought that Leanne would be really happy to see Dorothy cooking and welcoming her and saying, hey, let's go have dinner. But she seemed to be like, mm -mm, no, something's up. And she was really not happy to see that Dorothy was hosting dinner. Sean says that he went viral and but wants to quit. And Julian kind of like goes and says, yeah, Sean can do whatever he wants. Kind of testing Leanne, like, what, what, what are you going to do about it? It's kind of sort of thing. Um, and she's like, listen, Sean, you can't quit. You know, I don't know what her obsession with Sean being famous, but she seems to like that he cooks. She seems to want the best for Sean. And she's like, you can't quit. And when, when Julian snapped at her, that really made her upset. And she's like, listen, you all are testing me, but she says it in, in her, her, her Leanne way. And she goes, you all better be careful. Everyone must be careful. Like she's giving them a warning. Like, listen, I'm super powerful. I'm nice to y'all because I care about you, but don't test me because I can do some things. But they're just like, okay, who cares? They are believing Uncle George and they don't think anything of Leanne's um, warnings. They're like, okay, she's just like a, a crazy little girl. Meanwhile, Uncle George is somewhere in the Turner house whipping his back in his forgiveness ritual from the church, letting us all know he told one big tale, a big myth to the Turners. And he's like, forgive me, I've put them in grave danger because he knows that they're gonna behave as though Leanne doesn't have any control over them. And that might upset Leanne. And he's doing his ritual, just like the, the church um, followers have done many episodes before. And it's very clear that Uncle George is still with the church and Leanne may be a fallen angel. So here's my thing. Honestly, it seems like Leanne wants to pray over the Turners and torment them a little bit. And I'm wondering when that shift happened because she was not happy with the family dynamic or that or whatever it is that they wanted to do to be happy. Sean wants to quit to be happy. That's not something she was interested in. What are your thoughts? Overall, I feel this episode is showing us that what Leanne is doing and, you know, the unanswered things she has done is up for us to interpret. 